All right, so we're gonna mix it up a little bit. Mock speaks, you know, let's talk about it. I'm gonna share, I'm gonna drop a little sermon on y'all though. Quick little sermon that God just dropped in my heart. I'm gonna share with y'all. So when God wants, sometimes when God wanna give y'all something new, a blessing, take you into some new, some newness, uh, bring the springtime into your life. You know, the spring beginning, blooming, blossoming, fluorescence, it's time of fluorescence. Everything is green. When God wants to bring you in the greenery, he sometimes got to change your old scenery. Let's say that again. When God wants to bring you into some greenery, he got to remove things out of your old scenery. So you, so, so things that you're familiar with, something that you might love, hold dear, cleave, endearing. He has to remove that to give you this new greenery for your new scenery. You dig? But here's the dilemma for us, right? We'd be like, oh man, well, I got to give this up. Like I had this, been rocking with this for 30, 40 years, 20 years. Like this, this is my ride or die. Like I love this. I can't, you know, it, oh God, why, God, why so hard, right? But that's just how, let me, let me break it. Let me explain why. I'm going to use this, this verse. I, I believe it's in Exodus, right? Where Moses was about to, was about to, now Moses, now I'm a, uh, this is anecdotal. Like, whether you believe the Bible or not, look, we don't all believe in cartoons and Superman don't really fly and Spider-Man, there's no such thing as Spider-Man. And But yet, we still watch these cartoons. We love them. We grew up on them. We even watch the movies. And we take lessons, right? We all learn lessons from watching Spider-Man or Batman or Superman or whatever. None of it is real, but yet we still rock with it, right? So let's rock with me, whether you believe in the Bible or not. Just get, get, the, get the substance out of the anecdote. It's an anecdote. So... Moses is about to talk. Moses is, is talking to a bush, right? A burning bush. Bush is on fire. Moses, the voice of God said to Moses, listen, the ground I'm about to bring you, you got to take off your shoes because the ground on which you stand is holy ground. Now I'm paraphrasing, right? God says to Moses, the ground on which you stand is holy ground. You got to remove those shoes. You got to take off your sandals. You can't. So in this anecdote, anecdotal story, anecdotal approach, the shoes represent your loved one. The shoes represent something or someone that you've, you've been cleaving to or rocking with your whole life. Could be a family member, could be uh, a brother, a sister, it could be your best friend, it could be your girlfriend, it could be your boyfriend. It, it, I mean, it, it's just, it could be your mom, it could be your dad, it could be anything or anyone, right? So the shoes represent something that you hold very dear to your heart in this anecdote. The ground, the holy ground, because it's anecdotal, right? In this allegory, the ground represent the newness that you're about to receive, that blessing. Whatever it may be, maybe you've been praying, asking for something all your life. So the ground represents that blessing. It's a new territory. It represents new beginning. It represents, like I said, that greenery, that green pasture. Right? That's what the ground represents. Moses, in this al 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 allegory or in this anecdote, represents you. And obviously, the, the bush remains the same. The voice of God. God. The reason why sometimes in life, why some things have to be removed for God to give you something new is because the shoes... In this allegory, could be dirty. They're old. You know, uh, the ground is new. It's fresh. It's clean. So fresh and so clean, clean. The shoes is raggedy. It's dusty. They're going to taint this new ground that I'm about to put you on. The shoes ain't worthy to walk on this new ground I'm about to put you on, Moses. Y'all starting to rock. I'm sure y'all rocking with me. Y'all getting what I'm saying, right? Sometimes the shoes that you are comfortable with will destroy the picturesque, the beauty, the beauty, the magnificence of what this new ground is about to do for you in your life. This new ground represents growth. It represents development. It represents improvement. It represents enhancement. It represents the best, better version of yourself. But these shoes, I know you've been rocking them for a long time. I know they're comfortable. I know you broke them in. They know the curves. They know the, the ins, the outs of your five 
corn, bunion feet, toes. They, they, these shoes are just, ah, uh, you put them on and you're just comfortable. But you don't understand something. Comfort in life can be an impediment to your growth. Comfort can be a, a stump to your development. Comfort can be a handcuff to your release. I'm trying to release you here. But comfort, how many times you so come, we, we, we luxury and comfort can be detrimental to us because luxury and comfort puts us in a state of complacency, relaxation, self, self, -satisfac self -sat satisfaction, and self gratification. That's what comfort does. Comfort kills ambition and drive. If you have too much, if you're too comfortable, sometimes you need to be a little bit uncomfortable so that you can stay focused. I need you to leave these dirty ass shoes behind because these dirty shoes going to taint and pollute the pristineness of this new ground I'm about to bring you in. So we got to get rid of these dirty, these dirty shoes. And, and you now, representing Moses, are at a dilemma. You're at a dilemma because you're like, man, I want this new ground. I want, I've been praying for this new ground. I got this new ground. God, I, man, thank you for this new. This is what I wanted my whole. But damn, I got to give up these shoes. But I've been rocking with these shoes so long. You know, like I love these shoes. Well, then you don't want this new ground. The new ground represents whatever it is that you've been asking for. It could be anything, a house, a car, a new job, a new career, a, 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 a spouse, a, a significant other, financial, whatever. Whatever. It's, it's, it's symbolic. But you're like, man, I love these shoes. So what am I going, what do you do? You give up your, you give up your growth and development into something that you've always wanted, your newness. Or you cleave to that which is old and what you're familiar with. Most people cleave to what they, or what's old and they're familiar with. Because to go into something new is sometimes a little scary. You're going into an unknown, unfamiliar and uncharted waters. A territory that you're not quite, you know, but the shoes represents comfort. It represents something you're familiar with. Familiarity. But familiarity keeps you stagnant, right? Stagnation. You're stagnant. You're not going anywhere. You're not going backwards, but you ain't going forward. You're just, ah, ah, meandering right where you are. So, like I said, that just came to me, and I want to share that with y'all. Get rid of those dirty-ass shoes. Sometimes you just got to get rid of them. Throw those dirty ass shoes out. Throw them out. New beginnings, baby. God got better kicks for you. He got some brand new 2000, what's like, I, I haven't bought a pair of sneakers in years. Like, whatever, you guys know the newest Jordans. Whatever the need, God got the newest Jordans out there for you. Or whoever the new, what, LeBron, he's like the best basketball player. Now. He's the next, the next new thing, right? He's got the best Steph Curry's, whatever sneaker is on in trending today. He's got them out there. He's got that for you. Get rid of those old watered down comfortable shoes that you're used to they're not worthy to step into this new ground that god's going to bring you into the shoe they're not worthy you are your shoes aren't till next time y'all know what i'm gonna be doing cooking my books and when i get an inspiration to preach a sermon i'm gonna share it with y'all peace